Yeah. Alright guys, uh, if y'all were here last week, uh, when we were in the field house, we started Psalm 23. Uh, many of you may have heard it, maybe it was a funeral, maybe different things. It's a psalm that David wrote, uh, King David. And uh, it begins, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. We talked about how the Lord uh, should be our shepherd and how he guides us. Uh, you know, he talks about how he, David himself, as a shepherd of sheep, he knew what sheep were like. He knew there were dumb animals, they were stupid, they would follow and do things um, and, and to their detriment, to dangerous situations. Uh, but I want to look at today is, a, is this next uh, verse. It says, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. So it's important to understand with sheep, they had to be led to green pastures. Because if they were in a regular pasture and they were just left there, they would eat all the grass and they would stay there and die because they wouldn't go anywhere else. They're, I'm telling you, they're dumb animals. They won't look and think. They, they sit there and will, uh, they'll eat stuff that's bad for them. They'll eat stuff that's poisonous. They just eat whatever's in front of them. They had to be led to green pastures. They had to be led to somewhere where they could get nourishment. The exact same thing with still waters. They wouldn't drink from a flowing river. They'd only drink from still waters. And, and the shepherd had to be careful because they would drink some nasty water. Some nasty, dirty water. What, that's a challenge for us. You know, a lot of what we think of, you know, is peace. He leads me beside the still waters. He leads me, you know, and lets me lie down in green pastures. And that's a part of it. But really, as I thought about this, I thought about it as us. You know what? In this world, there's a lot of junk. And, and we're a lot, a lot of times like sheep. We'll feed, not, not physically all the time, but just with our lives, we'll fill ourselves up with a bunch of junk. Junk uh, stuff. Maybe it was uh, physically, you know, food. You know, the coaches challenge you, especially during football season, to hydrate, Gatorade. Water, drinking the right stuff because it's going to make your body better. Eating the right foods, eating foods that are going to make you more healthy and make you a better football player. It's the same thing in life. Whatever we put in our body spiritually is going to affect us. We fill it with a bunch of junk, whether it's from friends or you know TV, use all these different things that we fill ourselves around. And what I want to challenge you guys: it's not a, a rule book of hey, don't do this, don't do that. God's looking after us. Remember, the Lord is my shepherd. He is trying to guide us and take us into parts and places that are going to be beneficial, going to make us better, not going to pull us down, not going to destroy us. A lot of things in this world may seem enticing and may seem exciting, but I'm telling you, they'll destroy you. They'll not only destroy your life, they'll destroy the people around you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want him. Makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. So it's a challenge. What are you leading your life? Are you in the green pastures? Are you along the quiet streets filling yourself with things that are nourishing physically and spiritually? Because what you fill yourself up with is what's going to pour forth. Attitude, language, all these things come out of us. It's what we fill ourselves with. You fill yourself with God's Word, with God's people. You know what's going to come out? It's things of God. It's a challenge. But God will lead you. If you'll follow His path, if you'll follow after what He desires, read His Word. His Word gives you a guidebook of what, how we should live. Not a book of rules that I'll talk about. It's because He cares about you. You know, I think of my children. I don't let them do things and go and be a part of things because I know it's dangerous for them. You know, I don't let them go out in front of my house and just play in the street. I mean, what's going to happen if they play in the street? They're going to get run over, right? I mean, that's, that's more than likely going to happen. That's why they either got to stay in the front yard or most of them out in the back yard. Because I'm looking at it. It's not because I, I don't want them to enjoy the fun of playing in the street. Somebody I know the bell's about to ring. Uh, let's pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity we have. Father, I thank you for these guys. Continue to give them the strength and everything they need. But God, I pray that you just uh, give them the desire to seek after you and to let you guide them along uh, the quiet waters and, and the, the green pastures for their benefit physically, spiritually. God, we just love you so much. We thank you for being our shepherd and wanting the best for us. We just want you to be praised and glory. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Have a good weekend, guys. Amen.